Martin, T-Bone and Mats from Hellish Outcast. Tell us a bit about the band. How did it form and how did you all get together? Well, Hellish Outcast, we, we started out back in 2001. Me and Martin and uh, Max Morbid, our bass player. Um, it was just uh, us kids trying to play some decent metal music. Um, and we just stayed in the rehearsal space till now, basically, uh, trying to uh, progress. How did you meet Matt? Uh, from a friend um, who went to the same school as uh, Matt, and he uh, told me him uh, he told me that uh, he uh, met a drummer and uh, and I said yeah let's try him out and that's how it went. Steve, when you recently joined the band and you're from Keep of Galassin, why did you choose to, cho to join the band? I, uh, I was very into it from the first time uh, Mats showed me the band, so it was easy choice when they asked me to join. And um, why did you choose to use T-Bone? Um, basically because I knew we needed a strong front man, a strong lead singer. He was uh, the first person I thought about when when uh, our former vocalist uh, decided to quit. And how do you know each other? We know each other from touring. Uh, I've been touring with Cape of Kalesin as a drum tech. And uh, yeah, so we've been friends for a couple of years now. And um, I don't know, he's just very cute. Why did the band not work with the old vocalist anymore? Um, I, I think he uh, want, don't, didn't want to put so much time into the, the band. Uh, and uh, that was really... Uh, we figured that out before he left the band also. So I just told him that um, it's, it's the, the best is if uh, you leave. So And he totally agreed. So. Steven, explain um, to people that don't know the sound, explain the sound of the band. It's called Awesome. No. Uh, it's also awesome, but uh, I guess you would say a mix of thrash and death and awesome. And you, how would you explain the sound of the band except awesome? Pure underground aggression. <laughs> think about um, the fact that Keep of Colossum did Eurovision? I think it's very cool. Um, it, it struck me as why not? Um, it's been a great opportunity for, for them to promote themselves as a band, as individual musicians and also for the metal community. Uh, to get that kind of uh, public exposure is nothing but Great. And Martin, um, you were in studio just before um, you stopped working with the last vocalist. What's going to happen to that material? Uh, we we're going to keep the material, but uh, the lyrics will be uh, that. Uh, what the road will be, uh, he want to keep them, so we have to write new lyrics. And when do you think you'll get back in the studio, write new lyrics and release an album? We're already in the studio writing lyrics. Um, the album is finished. It's basically, we just have to retract the vocals. Um, but we're, it's going fast. Uh, Tibon, he, he picked up on 
where we wanted to go immediately. So I'm confident that we'll be we'll be done with the with the mix sometime in I don't know maybe October. Hole in the sky for kids. How do you feel about that? It's uh, it's very cool actually because uh, it's not often the kids get to go to metal shows or rock shows, and it's uh, great that some of the festivals actually have that opportunity for kids. So it, I think it's going to be great because kids are always very into it because they they never get to see it. And I think it's going to be very good. Okay, I have one last question. If the world was ending and all the women on the earth were dead and you had to choose one guy to bang, who would it be? T-Bone. Mox. Probably Max Morbid. He's uh, pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... That makes us a gay band, doesn't it? <laughs> no, no, they like chicks, don't worry. It's only if there weren't any. Well, thank you very much for the interview and I look forward to seeing your show and have a lot of fun. And now let's go drink some beer. Yeah.